Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Sheltenham Racecourse here on the final day of the festival. It is Friday, the 15th of March, 2024. Going to look at the fourth race, the 3.30 from Sheltenham. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for racecourses around the world. The fourth race to feature 3.30. It's the big one. It's the Grade 1 Sheltenham Gold Cup. It's a grade one event for class one horses going for a purse seven hundred fifty thousand dollars race for five year olds and upwards. Field of twelve horses going three miles and a quarter over the chase course. I'm gonna take the three horse faster as low as a top selection. I'm gonna go three one four in the tricast trifecta. Three one four tricast trifecta. Top selection seven the, the three horse faster is low. Um, this um, eight year old by Sante Saints Martin Brassel trains gets JJ Slevin up in the saddle. The horse's most recent out came the group in the Grade One Irish Gold Cup at Leopardstown three miles on the third of February. And the horse went second by four and a quarter lengths. Ben Gallons to Shams who's running back in this one today and, and looks like he can win. He won this race. Last year, um, he put on a show at um, at Leopardstown on the soft ground. This horse was jumping well. He, he placed well behind him. I thought he wanted extra ground, but he got down the race course well. He is stepping up some, in some class here today, but his races here at Sheldon in the past, especially here at the festival last year, okay, less quality horses. I, I didn't think it was a half bad race. He is stepping up in some class, but I think he's been sitting on that very good run. He got redemption at the end of the, uh, at the, um, at the end of last season and also at the beginning of the season at Punchstown, where he loves running two and a half miles in the grade one Punchestown Chase went by a half length. He had to be used a lot that day, but he grinded out to the wire to get the job done. A very good effort for him that day. And then prior to that, at the end of the season last year at Punchestown, three miles in the Grade One Punchestown Gold Cup, he won by two and a quarter lengths. He upset at twenty to one. He quickened up nicely, and he beat home the. Um, the Gold Cup winner, Gal Deschamps, who, like I said, is running back in this one today, who just yielded late that day after a very tough campaign. He just couldn't keep up, but this horse freaked that day. Uh, and then here at the festival last year in a premier handicap chase over the three miles and eighth, he finished second by a neck that day. Um, the, the winner, Crotch, uh, Crotch Rambler, just had the jump on this horse, but again, he got down the race course well, jumped a terrific race, and then, you know, he ran some subpar races. You know, he just wasn't 100% cranked in the Dublin chase last year or in the Punchestown chase 2022, but after that festival, that that was a changing part for this horse. The last year, he's been up and up. Coming here today, he could win. It wouldn't surprise me if the one horse Braves man's game for um, for Harry Cobb and Paul Nichols gets a good trip to win. He nearly stole this race last year, where he finished second by seven lengths behind Gallant the Champs, who freaked that day. This horse jumped around the race course well. A few mistakes late, but, you know, I didn't think it was a half bad at race. Came back to run the Punchestown Gold Cup, where he finished third by two and a quarter lengths, just kind of yielding late. Uh, and then seasonal reappearance in the Charlie Hall chase at Weatherby. He finished second by one and three quarter lengths. He something more but again i've seen worse race for him but he's been getting better with a single race as the season goes on he, he started a lot at the beginning of the season tail end so far he's not you know he, he's had a break in the, in the midpoint but coming back to the tail end today i wonder if we'll see him next at uh Antry or something like that or back in punches town in, uh, in about uh, seven weeks or so but um came back to run in the uh, bet fair chase where he placed and came back to place in the uh, king george attempted on boxing day behind he hewick that day who just ter um, did a terrific race but this horse got around the race course well across a little bit lightning fast also camped it on boxing day he'll see a little soft ground which you think he should absolutely adore he could win here at 12 to 1 watch out for him off the bench and like i said the four horse got the champs for um paul town and willie mullins won this race last year quite nicely you saw a tired horse of punches 10 after that in the gold cup but so far this season you know he, he lost his seasonal reappearance at uh, punches town but came back to win the Savills, chased the leopard's town after christmas quite nicely and won the irish gold cup at leopard's town quite quite nicely also he might be sitting on a freakishly good race also and the quarter place pot, I would use him if you're playing it. But uh, it's going to be a good Gold Cup this year. But to recap my selection for the 330, the fourth race from Sheldon, it's a grade one Sheldon Gold Cup. Going to take the three horse faster as low. Give kudos to the one horse Brave Man's game and the three, the four horse Gallus of Shams. 314 Tri Cash Trifecta, 314 in the quarter play spot, whatever you decide to play. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everyone.